Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Google Plus and just kind of basically what it is and a little overview. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like with people who I have put in circles. So I've said I want to see what they do. And it's a general mishmash of everybody. So let's talk about the first thing we're going to go to is your profile. And this is what I have posted. And this is about me, so this is important. You're going to want to have an introduction, really good first paragraph, some information. The cool thing is you could put hyperlinks with um, your keywords in them in this profile, and you're on the Google for sure. And then links to your other things. So I have Marketing Artfully, Marketing Speaker, my university, um, YouTube, Pterodactyl, those types of things. I don't have my Facebook on there. I'm not trying to get people from here to my Facebook. I'm trying to get people from Facebook to here because I like it very much. Um, you're going to have your photos and things that you've shared and sh things people have shared with you. Um, you can upload videos. I've put some videos here just so that I have some. Um, you have to functionally upload them to here, not just, these aren't just the videos you've shared from YouTube. And I'm not sure that I get enough benefit from that. I think I would rather have a couple here so that people know I do videos. But in general, I'm going to be using um, YouTube to do that. This is what I've plussed one around the internet. So if I've gone to um, somebody's website and did a plus one on there, I, um, I am able to see all those. So it's a really nice place to find all the things that I liked on the internet later. And then Google Buzz is old. But I had um, set that up years ago and they imported it and that's fine. I'm good with that. So that's your profile. The other nice thing is you can see who's in your circles and we'll talk about circles in a little bit. And then who has me in their circles. So I have 239 people in my circles and I have 374 people that have me in my circles. And I, I literally need to um, get going on this but I've been so busy getting our clients set up that I haven't spent as much time on me as I should but we're gonna be doing some of that and we'll get those numbers up I, I would be happy with you know 3,000 people who know me like me trust me think I know what I'm doing and how that's gonna come about is as more of my clients who are small business owners come on board they're gonna find me a lot of the people right now on Google Plus are um, techie people and things like that not, not not so much the general public and the small business owners so I'm fine with that all right next let's talk about your streams this is what makes me so happy is once we make circles and like I said I'll show you the circles in a minute but I can see just who I can put people who are just my friends in circles I can put people who I am following that I don't know but they're interesting so following is just people who are interesting that I like to see their their stuff these are my Denver friends so um, love Dave Taylor he does uh, tech support and things like that Tom Terwilliger so the nice thing about this is I am going to Tampa next week and I have my Tampa friends list and so what I can do is I um, had seen my friend Chris who has the really cool TWBA networking group I'm going to be speaking at a couple of his events next week and so I was able to see just his stuff I can see just Eric's stuff and kind of talk to the people who I'm going to be talking with next week anyways and it allows me to segregate and see just stuff from different people so if I feel like seeing what the realtors are up to I can come here and just look at all of the realtors and what they're doing so I will tell you this is amazing to me because first off I get to see everything they don't quantify they don't say oh well somebody isn't important enough to show up on your stream you just get to see a chronological order of what people who you've put into different groups so for me this is why um, in the post I talked about the fact that there are people who don't want to have as many circles for me like this circle is my following people I have 92 people in this circle this comes back to the whole Twitter stream too many things in Facebook too many people shouting can't really see it I mean this only goes back to 5 a.m. and it's 7 now so this is the last two hours what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is segregate these people further into um, true circles of maybe about social media about marketing in general 
maybe people I love that I have videos and photographers these people have such neat posts and so creative they're not necessarily somebody who is um, relevant to my business but I like looking at pictures at the end of the day I may want to make like a, um, a video and photographers and then a subset of those that take pictures of kittens because I have you know pictures of kitties and pictures of dogs and stuff like that that I like which is just dorky but it's something I like so those are the circles and how you can use them I don't see that there's a problem with having lots of them um, so I'm gonna continue to do that okay these are the circles and what they are is just little tiny circles that you could say um, it's you start with friends following maybe something else um, but I added Denver friends, Tampa friends, because I need to be able to, to break my people out, general realtors, my work clients and people, um, videos and photographers we talked about already. I have people who are my competition, who I like those. Um, and, and so what you can do is you can make circles and then sub-circles. So these are my Denver friends. So if I'm doing something like I talked about in the post, if I'm doing something that is a small business marketing general seminar, I'm going to I'm gonna post it to my Denver friends. And then if it's a realtor-only event, I'm going to post it to Denver realtors. Okay. If I'm speaking in Tampa and it's about just realtor stuff, I would only post it to my Tampa realtors. So let's take a peek at what that looks like. So if I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna close this so you can see all of them. So say I'm having a general marketing invitation only to my small business owners. I would say small biz marketing. I could use the link just like we do in all our other social media and put a link there and then I would come here and add circles if I wanted it available to the public I could do it there if it was um, because if it was a webinar I would put it to my circles my extended circles and my public circles because anybody in America can come and see that the problem for me is that if I do an event in Denver and I live here so I um, I do three times as many as I do in Florida my Florida people are gonna get really sick of having to look at that and getting invited to that and you know oh well there's something else Tara is doing and what they're gonna do is start tuning me out which is absolutely the opposite of what I want them to do so what I want to do is make sure that when I'm doing an event in Denver my Denver people can see it when I'm doing an event in Tampa my Tampa people can see it and then occasionally I may post it here um, just so that people can be reminded that I do events but I do probably 12 to 15 speaking events each month so I also don't want to clutter up my public stream with all these little hey join me at Jackson's if you want to hear about speaking or um, last class of our big um, speaker marketing um, that is literally in Denver and if you're not here you couldn't do it now when we when we publish the um, when we publish the big class onto a disc and then anybody can get it that's when I would say to my circles my extended circles and my public circles so this just makes it super super easy um, love it I I am really agnostic about social media I don't love or hate Facebook I think Facebook is hard on businesses that they don't try to help them and they try to make sure that if you want to do something you have to pay for it um, and they're punitive <coughs> Twitter is awesome for computers but I don't think it's fabulous for people LinkedIn is good for some of our clients but not for all of our clients and I will say that that um, Google Plus I don't think it's the second coming but I do think that it does have um, a lot of fixes for things that I didn't like before and I have heard some people like Gary Vaynerchuk and and some of the other Chris Brogans and things like that who have said you know it's good to have a reset and to start all over and to be really particular about who you have and who you're communicating with in addition to 
finding not just the normal suspects or the usual suspects, but also finding really neat people who you wouldn't necessarily have been connected with before. So that's it. That's, I mean, it's really kind of easy and it's wonderful. You've got your suggestions, you know, who's in your circles. There's a lot of things that are very similar to what you're used to. And then there's some features that I think are just going to blow everything else out of the water. So that's it. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.